Well, David Archuleta is about to hit the road again, right? David, your, your first live show in months. How do you feel? I'm excited. It's my first show, live show of the whole year, 2020. <laughs> nice. It's been interesting. So I'm, I'm excited that I can do the show. It'll be my first time doing a drive-in show, and I'm excited to be coming back to East Idaho. What can fans expect if they come out to the drive-in this weekend? I released a new album this year called Therapy Sessions. And so it'll be the first time I sing these songs live in front of like a live audience. I've done online shows like Instagram lives or stage it. But as far as like you, we are in the same like area, like within a hundred or 200 feet. I don't, I'm not sure how the spacing will go with the cars, but um, it'll be nice to get to do it in person for fans for the first time you'll be able to see the fans not just them seeing you like you know a, a video sort of concert and and for those of you wondering how is this going to work at the drive-in well you're assigned a stall and you can have up to eight people in your car you can bring camp chairs sit in the back of a pickup so it's like the old days going to the movie but the sound system is so much better you don't have to use your car radio uh there you're, you're bringing a whole sound system and your band and everything uh, David, have you ever been to a drive-in movie? I'm curious. I have been to a drive-in uh, drive movie, yeah. I think. What did we go see? I, uh, what was it? It might have been, I wonder if it was Mulan, but I, I, I feel like it was a Disney movie. And then like they played some other, I don't know, some other movie. I was a kid, so I, I, I guess it's been a long time. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, probably 15 years uh, or more, probably 20, 20 years. <laughs> But um, yeah, I, this will be my first driving show. So, so, well, it should be it should be nice. Uh, tickets are available, as David mentioned, and you mentioned your new album, Therapy Sessions. David, your first single, "Okay, All Right," over a million views on YouTube. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. Well, yeah. I, what's the song about? It's pretty catchy. If you haven't heard it, you you should go over <laughs> and listen to it on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is, uh, well, basically it's kind of just feeling anxious and stressed out about life. And you're just, you talk to yourself and say, almost it's meant to be a bit sarcastic as well. Where it's like, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. And, um, you know, I don't know if you've seen those shirts too, or I, I didn't realize people wore these shirts until after <laughs> that. They're, they're these shirts that say, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And, um, uh, because I usually, I was just like, what are the things, I was on my way to the studio and I was having like an exact anxiety on the ride over there. And I was just basically telling them, it's fine, I'm fine, okay, all right, it's fine, it's gonna be fine, it's all right, no worries, it's okay. Um, and so when I went there and he's like, what's been on your mind? I'm like, to be honest, I'm just, the only thing that's been in my head is, it's fine, I'm fine, okay, all right. Uh, and so that's what we started writing we started writing the song. I mean, I had a little melody as well, where it's like, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. And uh, as we did that, um, he started working on the track. His name is Ch Chantry in LA. And he, and then I was like, can you make it so that you can move to it a little bit? I was like, my mom always want, says I need more music she can dance to, because my mom's from Central America. She's a Latina and she likes to dance. So I was like, let's make it m movable so that so that my mom will will be able to move to it and so uh, that's how the song came about and then i just each verse is just a, a real life scenario basically like whether i'm just stuck in i wake up in a really bad mood or i'm getting road rage in traffic or um yeah <laughs> My, my 14 month old loves it and it will calm him down if he's crying. So it's good, positive thinking, start him young with, the, with those lyrics and then they can know it's okay, it's all right. Uh, you're playing at a drive-in, you've played all over the world, David. Is there a venue that is perhaps your favorite or one that you'll never forget because of the audience or because of where you were at? It's kind of funny is, um, I mean, it's not Idaho Falls, but it's not too far at the BY, by BYU Idaho in Rexburg. The, um, doing the shows there were always fun because it's an audience that of 
of young, like everyone was about my age and everyone also had the same kind of upbringing, you know, being in the Latter-day Saint kind of realm of things. And it was really fun getting to perform there and just how enthusiastic everyone there is. I was <laughs> just like the, the culture. It's funny how like energetic people get out. One of my friends, I went to one here in, I live in Tennessee and one of my friends for New Year's, earlier he's like he's not of my faith and he'd never been around people from my church like mormons he he's a, he, when we went there like everyone was so energetic and everyone that we went to were members of the church and he was just like this is nuts because everyone was hyper and energetic and like having a good time and doing karaoke and shouting and like acting crazy i mean those it's not that like I'm not like that, but my friends were, and their whole family is the same way. They're all just super energetic. And he was just like, no one here, are you serious? No one here is drunk. <laughs> he's like, he was just like, oh my gosh. He's like, this, this is like one of the craziest parties I've ever been to. And I can't believe that no one's drinking. I swear these people are on something. And I was like, no. <laughs> like, believe it or not, you don't, I guess you don't have to be on any kind of substance to get wacky. <laughs> so. I, I, bet, I bet you miss those type of shows. Sorry? I bet you miss those type of shows with quarantine and COVID and everything. Yeah, it's it's kind of fun. I mean, to be honest, I get a little bit of anxiety when people are super excited just because it's so much energy. But then at the same time, like about three or four songs into a show, it's such great energy to work with when you're performing and it feeds you and you get more you get more energized it just takes me a while to connect to it but it's it's um it's something i'm looking forward to i don't know how it's going to work with people in their cars i was going to say uh, i i do believe that um as long as your car can fit up to eight people with seat belts i think that's how they're counting yes um, making sure that it, it, it's just if you can have the seat belt i guess you can take i mean you can take the seat belt off once you once you're there, but um, thank you for clarifying that it's not eight people in a Honda Civic. You yeah, a, a suburban. You, yeah, yeah I want to make sure that everyone in your car can make it, and no one has to get kicked out because yeah. you don't have a seatbelt for the person. Yes, very good clarification. We have we'll put a link down below for all of the um, rules. It's going to be safe with COVID. Uh, you know, everyone needs to stay in their spot. And if you buy a VIP pass, they deliver food to you all night long. So it's like all a buffet night all night long. Um, I, I got to add, you know, you kind of hold a special place in our hearts here at East Idaho News because you helped us do a nice surprise at Christmas um, um, with Myla Gilo. She has the five kids down in Pocatello and um, you sang her two beautiful songs. It, it was a day that I don't think we'll, we'll ever forget. Afterwards, I went and bought your Christmas album, which I had not heard. And there's a song on there called He Is Born. And I'm like, this is a, such a good song. I wonder who wrote it. And I think it was you. So yeah. It's, I mean, that, that, that is a gift. How many of your songs are you actually writing yourself? Well, I, you know, most of the time I collaborate with people because I, I'm not very good with words, but I, I'm good at saying a lot of things, but I'm really bad at summarizing. And so like, it takes me five minutes to say something that takes someone else 10 seconds. But, um, and that includes with writing songs, but um I, I I write everything that I do um, these days, uh, except for, I mean, that Christmas album, you know, I didn't write White Christmas. I didn't white, write, um, you know, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. But uh, there are two songs that were original Christmas. Wait, two, one, two, three. There are three <laughs> original Christmas songs that that I wrote. And it was really fun to do. And I'm, I'm so glad you liked He Is Born because that one was... Um, it was so special because I was like, you know, I want to just, I want to have the chance to just like share my testimony of, of Christmas, of what it means to me and why I, I feel it's sacred really. And I mean, it's a fun time too, you know, it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it's also, it can be a very, there's some, it's a sacred thing with Christ's birth and celebrating his life and what it meant for him to be the light of the world and Prince of Peace. And so just to write a song about that was really cool. 
No, it, it's beautiful. I mean, and you can listen to it all year long on repeat because it's, <laughs> it's a powerful song. I'm serious. It, it, Thank you. It, it's good. And played it uh, for my wife and my family. Well, well, David, we're really looking forward to having you back here in Eastern Idaho. Uh, the show starts at eight o'clock on Saturday, the Motor View Drive-In in Idaho Falls. Tickets are available right now. Again, there's the VIP pass with food delivered to your car all night long, a special video message from David, and uh, I think a lanyard or, or a bunch of swag. And then there's also the, the regular um, seats, which every seat is a good seat at the drive-in because there's going to be a big screen behind him. And hopefully soon, probably next year, you'll be back in the flesh with people there without a car seeing you live. Yes. I look forward to it. I, I'm I'm looking forward to this Saturday as well. It'll be it'll be great. All right. Thanks, David. Take care. Thanks, Nate. Good to see you again.